Hello everyone, welcome back to Rebecca's Random Adventures and today I'm going to show you this really fun repainting project that I did with this chest of drawers and it's a really inexpensive project. I basically use like equipment I already had. You don't need any fancy, you know, like orbital sanders, anything like that. I just used a uh, a piece of sandpaper cut into squares literally and I started out by removing the varnish and all you know smoothing it down and removing the old orangey yellow varnish because I wanted a different look I really didn't want the orange yellow look in my room because this is going into my room and it doesn't go with anything in there so I stripped away the old varnish carefully and slowly by hand these things require patience and the enjoyment of the process itself I wiped away all the sandpaper uh, sore dust left by the sandpaper and I tried darkening the cupboard with some latex br latex brown paint and no it, it was terrible it, the paint was just bad so I stripped it away with thinner and I was getting irritated so I took out the only other thing that I had which is white acrylic paint and I watered it down and I brushed it on the cupboard and at this point I was getting very irritated because it was looking nothing like what I wanted it to it just looked like badly brushed on paint and the brush was leaving brush marks and the paint wasn't even sitting on the wood very well and I was just like I don't know what to do with this you know uh, I want to see the wood but I also want it to be lighter in color I want it to be white but I still want to see the wood grain and then I started thinking hmm it's kind of like makeup where you want a light coverage foundation where you can still see you know all the spots and things you can still see the face underneath the foundation it's not like a thick layer caked on like grease paint so i wiped away the paint and i was thinking what should i do um, so i brushed it on again it wasn't looking any better then i went and got an old kitchen sponge and this kitchen sponge again cost me nothing the, the paint itself is very inexpensive it was from the hardware store and they sold it to me because they said it was matte and what i was looking for for furniture and i used it in a previous video but anyway i got the old kitchen sponge and started dabbing and blending away imagining that it was a beauty blender blending it foundation you know light coverage so that's what i did I spritz down as I need it, you know, to get the paint moving as I learned on a different, uh, learned from YouTube tutorials and different channels. And then I was starting to get the results that I wanted. So I continued doing this, you know, I just roughly spread on the paint and let it drip all over the place, including the floor. And then I got the, my uh, so-called beauty blender, my kitchen sponge, and I just dabbed you know got the paint into places that i that it needed to be and took it away from places where it was getting to be too much so in the end i got the balance that i was going for which was a lighter shade you know white cupboard on which i could possibly paint something uh, that you could still see the wood through the wood the knots and all that okay so now i will be using black chalk to draw on the stems and branches of my meihua. So I'll be doing the Chinese plums. And it's gonna have pink flowers. And um, I chose it not because it is the national flower of Taiwan, but because it is the flower that's my name. <laughs> So the paint that I'm using here is a black acrylic paint from the craft store and I'm just brushing it on basically and trying to create like the branches, the trunk of the plum tree in a very organic way. Um, it's inspired by Chinese brush paintings, you know, this ink black ink paintings and you want it to be actually kind of rough so I was adding 
like uh, you know little chippy bits to the side and all that and sometimes when you have a dry brush and it leaves like a streaky look instead of a smooth uh, painted look that's actually more authentic so that was what I was trying to do it doesn't have to be perfectly black all over and I was playing around with it and you know it's like a knotted kind of twisted tree it's not a very smooth kind of tree at all and I did two of those going from the bottom to the you know, top the second one is kind of shorter I wanted it to have a, like a organic flow from one side of the cupboard to the other it's just totally playing around with it I have no clue what I'm doing I've never painted any of this in my life um, so I mix different shades of pink and red together again acrylic paint from the craft store and I dab it on with a little like a little detailed brush and I wasn't going for like perfectly shaped flowers I wanted them to look um, realistic from different angles so it was a matter of just going around and adding the flowers all over the branches and the thing with these plum trees is that strangely they have no leaves they only have flowers on them and um, the flowers are kind of growing from the stem of the tree and sometimes I would add, go in with another brush with the black acrylic paint and add in a few more tiny thin little branches all around uh, letting it you know so you branch out you add a flower you branch out you add a flower here and there all over the stem kind of randomly it's a very very easy thing to paint just basically the branches and little pink flowers and that's all there is to it so I had a lot of fun and it came out very Chinese looking. So if you like this video, do like, subscribe and stay tuned for more. I hope you enjoyed the before and after. So don't be afraid to plunge into any furniture painting projects. Who knows where you get your inspiration or what will happen along the way. Bye!